Welcome to the Hands-On Art Ceramic Painting Tutorial presented by Ambrosian. This is available in PDF format if that's easier for you to follow and will be available on our website and in the studio. Gather all of your materials, paints, and your vase and we can get started. We'll begin by wiping down the surface with a wet sponge. Then we will trace the image onto the tissue paper with a pencil. And then you will grab your tape and Sharpie. Here I'm deciding where I want to place this door. I decided to put it over the rainbow and then taped that down once I had it lined up. And then began to trace that with my Sharpie. Now, one thing to point out is that this Sharpie is very old, and so it did trace on the tissue paper, but it didn't bleed through all the way. So if you notice that happening, you'll want to grab a newer Sharpie and just ask one of the girls in the studio. We'll definitely help you out to find the perfect Sharpie to do this tracing. And then I'm just going through and tracing over everything again, since my Sharpie is a little bit older. I just want to make sure that I can see everything that I am drawing on once I paint it. And don't worry if it's not perfect. Um, this will be painted over and all of the Sharpie marks will be burnt off in the kiln. Here I'm adding a little Gary just freestyle. This is not part of the tutorial, just a little extra fun thing. If you wanted to add something like that, you can for sure. Um, we have tons of colors in the studio for you to choose from. I'm going in with the first yellow color, just going around all of the window areas. I'm not being too worried about covering the flowers that I drew on the side on the back. I'm just gonna paint over all of that, as you can see here. And remember, we want two to three coats of every single color that we put onto this face. We want this to be nice and vibrant. This is after three coats. Then we can move on to our gray, just doing the outline of the windows and then also doing the door. Notice how I am doing the outline with a small, thinner brush. And then once that is outlined, I can go in and fill in with a thicker brush. We'll be using that technique throughout this whole process. Now I'm going in with that blue, filling in those windows. And remember two to three coats of these colors. And then now I can move on to that Gary, starting with a little bit of a pink for that shell, and then doing a, a green and blue teal color for the body. Adding some red for the accents and some purple for those little dots. Now we have the base layer completed. We are going to go in with the details of the door and then we will move on to the details of the actual pineapple. We want to make that as textured as possible. Notice I'm using a liner brush for this door. I'm dipping in as many times as possible to get a nice clean line. And the Sharpie line might have faded, but sometimes it, you can still see it through the paint. Um, so just make sure you're in a nice lidded area to be able to see that. Adding the extra lines to the door. And then we can begin on the crisscross of the pineapple. Please reference the PDF to look at how we want that to crisscross along with the little line that goes in the middle of each triangle section so that we can get that pineapple texture we're looking for. Now we have that base, we can go in with our extra colors like the orange and red just to highlight all of those pineapple sections. 
I'm going in with that same blue from before, the darker blue to outline the window and that little pipe that's coming out of the side. Then once things have dried a little bit, I go in with my red and add details here and there. Now the dark brown is to add the little X's along every single section of that pineapple. Here I am outlining the window, adding that extra depth. That's why I'm adding two layers there to that window so that it looks like it's popping into the pineapple. And then there we have it. Everything is somewhat outlined, not completely, but just to give it a little bit of that uh, shadow in areas where we need it. And then now we're going in and adding that highlight, the details of the window, and then adding in the colors for those little water flower bushes. Throughout the whole process of outlining, just remember to be patient with yourself and to go slow. You always want to dip your brush into new fresh paint and if it dries out or there isn't enough paint, it won't glide on as expected. Um, so just keep that in mind while you are outlining the whole thing. And there we have it, the pineapple under the sea, SpongeBob's house. This is the before firing and this is the after firing. I am so happy with how it turned out. I hope to see you guys in the studio recreating this soon. Have a great day.